What's up guys, I'm Marcus Drexler. I recently embarked on a journey to make my family food a little more healthier, put a lot more vegetables in it. Previously I made a mac and cheese without cheese and now I'm using that same sauce and there's a lot of things that you can do with it. So I tried a few variations. One of the things that I did was put it in a carbonara. With that one though, I have to say, I put bacon in it to make it taste good. Now that obviously is defeating the purpose in terms of putting more vegetables in it, but it increases the taste a lot and that's great for the family that really loved it. And you're gonna see the feedback afterwards. Another few variations that I tried is that I just put more vegetables in the mac and cheese sauce, like broccoli. As well as, I just threw all the mac and cheese sauce and the broccoli in a baking dish and put cheese on top of it. Obviously, again, there's animal protein in the cheese. It's all about balancing, increasing the vegetables, but balancing then the taste so that your family actually likes it and eats it regularly. I really love that cheese sauce. It actually is very versatile, so maybe you have an idea and can let me know. Um, and please put comments below. Nate, what do you think? Give me a rating. Eight. Ooh, so better than the mac and cheese? Yep. What do you think, Noah? Definite nine. A nine? That's high ratings right there. Okay. What do you think is better? What makes it better than the mac and cheese? Spicy first, okay. not turvy, oh. and secondly, it's more cheesy. Okay. How do you like the carbonara today? Uh, I like it so much better than the other one. Better than the mac and cheese? Yeah, better. Why do you say that? Cheesier, um, less spicy, and I like the noodle. Okay, the different type of noodles that I've used. Yeah. Okay. So you gave it a rating of what was it? Nine. Nine. Okay. So compared to other carbonadas that you had before, how is this? Better than the other carbonadas. Better than other carbonadas that you had before. Why is that? Because it's cheesier. Cheesier? Even though there was no cheese in that side? Yeah. Okay, interesting. about the pasta bake, Noah? Best pasta bake you made ever, ever so far. Really? Mm, 10. It's a 10? Mm. Alright. 
No, it's first ten. I didn't know what this guy said that this was better than any other ones because this one just tastes the same like it tastes like every other one. Okay, so what do you? What's your rating for the pasta bake? Five. Two alternatives to regular mac and cheese. So we had the mac and cheese and broccoli and the pasta bake. What is your rating of the mac and cheese? The rating was eight. And the, the reason I say eight is because it, it was way better than the, <laughs> way better than the, um, the last mac and cheese. It was fine. And what was the rating of the pasta bag? Um, a 10. A 10. It was a 5 because it just tasted like every other pasta bag and uh, my dad knows that I don't like pasta bag. Okay, they're both very similar. They both have very similar ingredients. Just one is baked over with cheese, the other one is just uh, mixed together. Can you tell me the general taste? <coughs> the pasta bake. The top is of course cheesy, but the um, the normal the mac and cheese that's meant to be inside the um, pasta bake is not cheesy. It's just cheesy. I can't even really taste pasta. And um, it. Has broccoli, which really ruins the taste, and yeah. What about the mac and cheese? I think I think that the pasta was good with the not cheesiness, but it could be better if there was cheese in it. In the mac and cheese. Yeah, in the mac and cheese and the pasta bake, like cheese inside the pasta bake. Rather than just on top. Yeah, yeah. Um, it tastes. Not that would be like the other one. A little bit cheesy. It tastes <laughs> salty a little. <laughs> if I were to make it again, would you like to eat it? Yeah, so I would like to eat it. Um, but not the pasta bake. The pasta bake, yes, but the mac and cheese would not gonna be so excited. So I hope you like the video, I hope you think it's useful, maybe you try it at home yourself. If you do, put some comments below, let me know if the family liked it, if you found it easy or tricky or maybe any questions you have. Give me a thumbs up and press the like button if you think that it was useful and if you liked the video. And please subscribe if you want to be updated for any other new dishes that I'm making. See you guys.